Hi, if you're anything like I am, pretty accident prone, what you're going to want to do then when you've got a Nauticam housing and you've got the option of fitting a vacuum uh, valve, you're going to want to fit it and rather than taking it or sending it back to the shop that you got it from that didn't fit it in the first place, you could just fit it yourself. So watch this video, I'll show you how. Hi, I'm Andy North Diver and welcome to another episode in this series of scuba diving tutorials. In this episode I'll be teaching you how to fit an M14 vacuum valve to a Nauticam housing. Any old housing will do as long as it's got a Nauticam in front of it and you've got the valve that fits the housing. So if it's your first time here please consider hitting the subscribe button below that way it's dead easy for you to see any of the other videos that we've produced. At the side of that you'll see there's a little bell icon, clicking that will give you a notification every time we post a new video. So what you need is, first of all, you need an Auticam housing that will accept a vacuum pump. So on the top I've got an M16 port and an M14. The M14 is the one we want, but it's got like a, a big sort of gouge out of it to help open it. But what you don't want to be using is a knife like you'd see your dad doing at Christmas Day trying to get the batteries open. Um, or a flat screwdriver really won't fit unless you've got one that's like about an inch long. So I've dug through my tackle box and there's either two options here, a 50 pence piece or if you're from somewhere else in the world, a, a big coin that fits in there. But in my uh, dive computer comes this little sort of token that allows me to open a similar sort of point that is where the batteries go in. So I'm going to use this, it fits in nice and perfect, pretty snug but you know much better than a knife or a a flat screwdriver would and a little bit of pressure on there it just opens it up quite easily so we're going to undo that and you should notice there's a nice little o-ring in there which will probably be the same size as that so i'd keep hold of this you might one day want to sell this or you might need an o-ring so if you keep hold of this it's perfect now going into the box as you see if you've seen on the video where i unbox this and if you haven't here's a link to the video i um i've opened this before so it comes with an extractor, some people call it a pump, but it actually pulls air out rather than pushes it back in. Comes with the correct tool to actually fasten the valve on. Shame it doesn't come with a means of taking it off. You know, maybe at that end we could turn it or something like that, that'd be quite handy. And then the valve. So what you need to do is take off the little dust cap, much like if you were pumping your tire up on your car. And you can see that the valve is only a tiny little thing and again, it does have a nice little o-ring in there, very similar. Now what I would do, because this isn't going to be removed regularly, so therefore you're not going to be cleaning those threads off, and, and if any sort of dirt or debris is getting in there, I'd get yourself some Nauticam grease. Now this is a, co uh, not a copper grease, this is a silicon grease. Now what you don't want to do is absolutely cake this on. You just want to put a tiny little dab on, push that around into the threads, now, it's not to make it easier to undo day to day because you're not going to be taking it off day to day, but because the, the chances are you might get a little bit of dirt or debris into that, when you do come to undo it, when you service the housing every 12 months or so, you might find that it's, it's really difficult to open up. So what I'm going to do now is get the tool, put it over the top, and you, quite, quite quickly I've just hit a dead spot. It doesn't go any tighter, and it can't go any tighter. The O-ring is doing what its job is, the threads have been engineered and machined perfectly for this. So that's it, it's done, job done. So hopefully this video has been of some use to you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell icon inside of that so you get a notification every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. So you want Insta?